Hi. I always just spent 10 minutes trying to talk about this topic without being completely insane and cynical. So I will, I will try, I will try to keep it a little bit nicer this time. <laughs> Here's big news here, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Yamazaki. Here, the guy who made this. The guy who made the giant lizard movie Godzilla Minus One. Here's this one, yeah. Yeah, he's back to make more giant lizard movies. And, um, what is his name? Ta Takashi Yamazaki, right? Takashi Yamazaki. And he just announced, uh, I think in, in Japan it was like yesterday evening, I, I think they showed Godzilla Minus One, and while it played, there was an earthquake, so there were even like earthquake messages on the TV, it's like, Rah! earthquake danger. And, um, yeah, uh, maybe after the movie he announced it, or they announced it, and he made a YouTube video where he said, oh yeah, I'm back to, uh, the police is already coming to catch me because I'm speaking badly, not yet, but uh, soon, about their uh, new favorite director. Anyway, so, so it has been announced on several channels that he's gonna be back to make a new Godzilla movie, and I mean, of course, it's not surprising, it makes sense, he made a lot of money for Toho. He got a lot of prestige. Everybody loves him, except for me and maybe two or three other people who are not into nationalist uh, military propaganda blockbusters, which is a totally normal thing. I mean, look at Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick is almost the same. It's a very right-wing nationalist uh military propaganda movie and everybody loves it everybody loves tom cruise uh, in an airplane that's totally not cg or maybe mostly cg i forgot anyway uh in, in uh, godzilla at least they don't pretend that they didn't use cg that's very kind very nice instead they just take the, the academy award for the best uh, visual effects which is well deserved i'm i'm totally not against technical awards for this movie but I'm totally against all other awards, like for acting, or writing, or directing. It's all terrible. I mean, the directing is, is mediocre, very boring, but uh, it's functional. And the acting, I mean, it's not the actor's fault that it's uh, written so badly and so insanely conservative, where the woman has to stay in the kitchen and these things. So, uh, did I mention, if, if you love that movie and you love Yamazaki, please turn off. You won't enjoy this video. Um, I, 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 uh, I suffer a lot in my life because now I found out that Yamazaki and I share the same birthday. Of Obviously not the year, he's slightly older than me, but the uh, same day. So if I check the internet on my birthday, I'm just getting bombarded with happy birthday greetings for him, not for me. So I guess that's my punishment for disliking uh, his movies. But um, I'm willing to accept my fate and uh, yeah, just not look on the internet on my birthday because I should have, I should have, have, I don't know, I should have better things to do. Sounds right, right? Uh, you, you see, last time I talked about um, Godzilla, uh, someone called me an American. Isn't that cute? I thought I have a terrible German accent and everybody can hear that I'm obviously not American, but someone believes I'm American. Maybe this Hawaiian shirt makes it, I don't know. Um, yeah, cool, I'm American. I'm totally... <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, he, he is back and it makes totally sense. I, I'm not saying that, oh, how could this happen? Because obviously it happened. Even though Toho said they will they will not rush the next Godzilla movie and they pretty much seemingly seem to rush it. But I mean, if you want to capitalize on that fame and that money and that prestige, maybe you should do it soon and writing something like that can't take like that long. Maybe filming, but writing, nah. One session on the toilet will be sufficient, will be enough, yeah? Just take a huge poop and uh, while you do that, you write on the toilet paper and uh, you have a nice script for a new uh, this style Godzilla movie. Um, 
Anyway, so uh, yeah, the speculations are going crazy. And first I had some very weird, uh, very insulting <laughs> suggestions what he might uh, do, like uh, do the same that they do in the American Godzilla movies and go into the Hollow Earth where they could find the Nazis and do fun things with them, not against them, with them, like good nationalists would do. And uh, I know that would be quite interesting, at least so over the top that I might actually start to enjoy it again. Um, yeah, or maybe uh, win the next big war and uh, reoccupy parts of the world that Japan occupied before. So why, why not? They uh, used to be Japan, so just take it back. Uh, <laughs> kind of logic. Would be very, very funny. I would enjoy that very much. Like no, he he told us, you just need to be smarter than the, uh, the 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 Tenno, the emperor used to be, and don't send your people on suicide missions. And um, it's all gonna be fine. You can win the war, and maybe you use some Nazi technology so that helps. Um, yes, yeah, so, so why not? Why why shouldn't they win the next war? Like, I, I, I would like to see a future version in the movie where he's like, yeah, Japan changed the uh, constitution. They finally were able to have a proper military. I mean, they basically have a military with a very, very strong military with uh, a different title. Yeah, they just don't call it. They can't do some things abroad that they might be able to do under a different law, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, so, so they, they, they change the constitution, they have a proper military, and they just go out into the world and uh, do stuff to make the world a better place or something. I, I, I would love to see that. It's completely bonkers, it's completely crazy. Um... But yeah, it's a strong military. Fun. Yeah. We like to see good strong military. But more realistically, some people some people talked about this um mark that uh Miss Hamabe's character has uh, at the end of the movie. But so where's the focus? Am I in focus here? What's the oh Maybe now. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, so she has this mark and she will be haunted by the ghosts of uh, the atomic bomb, basically, which is a very common topic in Japanese um, media. And of course, it's worth um, to like tell the stories what happened after the atomic bombs. It's a very, very important topic. I don't want to make fun of that. Um, but as important as that is, um, Japanese anti-war movies or books or whatever have been heavily criticized for being very one-sided, just presenting Japan as a victim and never make it a topic what they might have done to other people during the war. And uh, that's something that's not depicted in Yamazaki's movies as well. So I don't really expect him to do that. And I can totally see him being like, yeah, this is my answer to Oppenheimer, which he uh, announced he would love to do. So why not combine that? Like a new Godzilla movie and the answer to Oppenheimer to really show the world how much Japan suffered and how great the people were to rebuild the country and uh, make it great again. Yeah. And it's it's interesting. It's very interesting to see what happened after the war. Oh, no, nothing against that. But uh, through his lens, I'm very, very worried how that might take uh, turn out. Because, uh, yeah, there will be a lot of glorification, a lot of patriotism, or maybe nationalism. People will sacrifice themselves for their country. Uh, all these things, um, stuff that he used to do before. 
And uh, yeah, if you would at least just go completely crazy with his weird visions, I wouldn't be against it at all, but... Uh, uh, I don't really believe it. It's just, uh, well, Mr. Yamazaki, why can't you just be uh, really crazy? Why do you have to be boring? Have you ever watched his other movies? Like Eternal Zero or the Fighter Pilot? Such a boring movie, the same goes here. Man, they call Pirate. That's so boring, insanely boring. Here's the Great War of Archimedes. So boring. At least something like Top Gun is entertaining. It's right-wing military propaganda done in a way that still entertains me. So I can say, okay, I don't like the message, but the movie is fun. But here yeah, it's not even fun. Like Godzilla had some, some cool moments, but oh. Wow. Well, no. No. So, yeah, I'm I'm not surprised about the announcement. And, uh, yeah, I would hope he does something crazier, something more interesting. But I think he's too conservative to be interesting. So, yeah. Yeah. Nah. Can't really see anything good coming out of that. But uh, another few years that uh, Godzilla is basically useless. I mean, the last American Godzilla was horrible. Like, really, really, really horrible. Like, Godzilla Kong. I, I, really, I hated that even more than Minus One. Because it was just 100% boring. Like, as boring as Yamazaki's most boring movies. And uh, Minus One had at least some scenes that entertained me. But yeah, I, I wish he would just go completely crazy and do something excitingly stupid. And not just like, hey, women in the kitchen, if they leave, they must die. We suffer a lot, but we are very strong. We want to protect our country. Oh, for the country. Never for the people. In all his movies, no, nobody says, oh, let's protect the people. It's always, let's protect the nation, the country. Arrgh. Yeah, so. Uh, it is. Uh, uh, so. Uh, yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I wish he would do something really stupidly crazy, but he won't. He will be boring. And I will watch it and be annoyed. And at least now I feel a little motivation to watch some more of his movies. I hope I will find some that are better. I hope I watched all the really, 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 really terrible things. And yeah, please, Mr. Yamazaki, entertain me at least if you have to spread horrible messages. Would be cool. Thank you. Bye.